Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We're here going after one of Misko's treasures. And we need to get up on this uh, ship. And the instant I started, someone knocked on my door with a delivery. Kind of bad timing on their part. Oh, for the love of the... never mind. Still, someone around. Oh. Uh. That was not fun. Lost it. The curse of oversized thumbs keeps on rearing its ugly head. Hmm. Okay, I can. I could probably ascend out of here pretty easily. I'd rather not give up my boat, though. Another treasure chest. I'm Figured there'd be something else around here. Wow, a Lionel bow. Yeah. Kind of a inconvenient place for it.
Knight's Claymore. I've used those before in Breath of the Wild. Soldier's Spear, Soldier's Spear, Soldier's Claymore, Bow Coblin Arm. Right. And there's other bows now that I think about it, but Yeah, let's just use the stick. Uh -huh. Plus twenty eight, wow. that Boko Bow up there. At least that's what it looked like to my eye. Yeah. Spiked Boko Bow. Let's get a picture of that Lionel bow before I forget. now I think so yeah I figured use the fan to get up there because it would be faster and easier than climbing and oh look there's a treasure chest over there Okay, I am officially angry now. Hmm. Well? That's kind of stupid, but <laughs> needs must. A royal broad 
Scarlet Sword. Increases the power of Flurry Rush during a perfect dodge. Oh, okay. That's what's over here. Let's get messed up. And now I have to move the fans again. This is... Irritating. You know what? You get out of the way, please. Keep holding to one side and then turning off the vehicle. But then since I'm still holding the control stick to one side, Link runs right off. Okay, this is working now. Where did that board come from? out to even tide aisle. Okay, I was about to say, is that the sky view tower? But no, it's not. Kind of looks like it, but it's not. Let's see what's out on this little island here. It used to be a shrine back in Breath of the Wild.
Hmm. Okay, there's more uh, Zonai parts. Kind of all scattered around. I could add a battery to my boat. Or heck, I could make a better boat. Rockets. Okay, I was holding off to the left and it started drifting to the right. That's irritating. What is that? What in the... Can't zoom in far enough. Looks like a log with bright bloom seeds on it. This is... than my original idea that I didn't mention of going back to the little island, getting those rockets, and attaching one to that plug. Because getting the rockets back would have been really annoying. I couldn't fuse them to the boat, because then when I activated the boat, it would activate the rockets and they would burn up. I guess I could have made some kind of basket. Hmm. To carry it. But, eh, the way I did it was easier. What are these bits of light? They are bright bloom seeds. Huh. What's with the current? 
To whoever finds this letter, you gotta help me out. I was out fishing when I got caught in a storm and had to run into a nearby cave to take shelter. Just as I was starting to dry off, this big rock came down and trapped me in here. I've managed to get some bright bloom seeds through the gap and into the water as sort of a marker. If I'm lucky, the seeds will blossom and the tide will take this letter and the flowers to shore. If you're reading this, it must have worked, so whoever you are, I got a favor to ask. Could you follow the trail of bright blooms back to the cave and get me out of here? It'd be a real help. Okay. I suppose I could at least go investigate. What was that over there? I thought I saw something. Oh, that was one of those things falling off of the sky islands and landing. says over there, those arrows say over here. Up the tree, perhaps? Enough. That's interesting that they're putting arrows to point at them now. Didn't this used to be a monster encampment in here? Or was it over there? I'm starting to think I should make a, a smaller and therefore lighter boat. This one's really unwieldy. Let's see here. Okay, I already got one of those. Let's worry about that later. For now, for now, let's turn the boat around. Oop. 
Follow the trail of bright bloom seeds. Let's see. Okay, there's a bright bloom seed up ahead. Boy, I'm really going against the current here. And is it just me or can I actually see the current in the water? Pushing me around. Ah. I'm not steering the boat, and yet it's drifting from side to side, and my power's out. I should have gotten one of those batteries while I was there, it would appear. Oh dear. Pushing me backwards. Come on, power. Okay, I think I'm out of the current. It looks like it's a bit to my right. This is a long trek. I'm about to run out of power again. Okay, at least I can still see the bright bloom seas off to the side there. and get out of the way. And I can see a battery over there. I'm just close enough.
Yeah, I can see the current now. That's... Wow, that's fast-moving current. That looks like the place. And there's... Some Lazalfos and at least one Octorop. Oh wow, this current's really pushing hard. He said in his letter something about a that must be the stone that's blocked him in. I was wondering if maybe the other one that other stone was the one but Awkward place for a sticky lizard to be living. Okay, do I have something that I can put another rock on? Yes. Let's go with this. serve as a makeshift torch when I get cold. Can I... No, this boat is not usable. That's a shame. If I'm going to carry this guy out of my... out of this cave... using my boat and it's kind of unwieldy. Let's beach it to make sure that we can't lose it. Don't want it drifting back out. Who are you? You know what? I don't care. If you're here, I'm saved. Ugh, I've been stuck here for ages. Did you find my message in a bottle and come to rescue me? Oh. It really worked. I knew it was a long shot, but it was worth it. After what went down in Laurelin Village, I couldn't exactly refresh my stock of fish, so I went out to try to catch my own. That's when a storm kicked up. I tried to shelter in this cave, but got shut in. Uh. Yeah, things were ba pretty bad for a while, but look at me now. That bottle really turned things around. If this lucky streak keeps up, it's got to bode well for business. Oh. Here, this is for you. I picked it up off the ground here in the cave. That sounded better in my head. It was a nice reward, honest. It's a nice reward, honest. I was planning to take it home with me once I got out. 
Yeah, that's pretty good. I really owe you. A little reward's the least I can do. Alright, I'm out of here. If our paths ever do cross again, you should buy some fish off me. Mm -hmm. Oh, this isn't the time to play the peddler, huh? Anyway, thanks again and so long. Okay. I thought I was going to have to take him out on my boat, but apparently his boat's still in good working order or something. That's fine. Am I exactly? Huh. Not actually too far away. Welp, what now? I think actually going to Hateno Village, that's what. Got him. All right, back into the current we go. And we'll just let it pull us. This might not have been the best idea. Okay, this is working better. I do have to keep my hand on the wheel, but we're going pretty fast. Thirty PM, it's dark out here. The middle of the afternoon, it is very dark. I'm going to run over Noctor up. Smart enough to try to get out of my line of vision. Ah. Smart enough to try to get out of the line of fire. Made it. 
is not good. comes my boat. Valfo's tail, a highly flexible, stretchable tail, fuse it with a weapon to add a lashing whip like quality to attacks. Huh. I can make a sword whip or something like that. That looks really dangerous. Very long sword like horn. Attach it to a weapon to moderately increase its attack power. Plus 16. I mean, wow. Just seems kind of a shame to lose this boat. I've been on so many adventures with it now. Okay, one last thing. I want to go check out that spire over there. Back in Breath of the Wild, it's one of Cass's puzzles. Yes, a cork. Yep. Anything else around here? that I can detect. All right. Let's say we're done here. Goodbye, boat. You served me well. Massively unwieldy though you might have been. Help me save that poor guy from Laurelin Village. Allowed me to kill a blue Lizalfos and some Octrox. All in all, had a decent time with it. Let's see. 
So Robbie should be up there. dog. You think I can feed him? Let's see. Well, could feed him a drumstick. enough food? You're not going to lead me to anything? Hmm. Well then. Moving on. folks that's the lab over there which means the road's going south that's yeah if you go that way that'll lead you to the cave where Misko's treasure rests maybe we better call it a day after we catch our breath let's return to the inn Misko's treasure I found a cave over there before oh is this the guy I just saved whoa the guy who got me out of that cave. Uh -huh. Thanks, guy. You're the reason I'm back selling my wares in the open air. And guess what? I'm catching my own now. No more selling secondhand fish for me. Uh. This is my first catch of many. Soon people from all over will be eating my fish. I've decided to do business here in Hateno Village. With everyone going gaga over Sisi, the place is bustling. Uh -huh. Take a look at the fish I caught. I'm so proud of every last one of them. Sure. <laughs> Lots of bright bloom seeds. Uh, do I have anything I could sell the guy? Hmm. Okay, the radishes are worth a fair amount. I don't have very many of them, though. Let's see here. Oh, look at all the opals I've got. Lots of amber, too. You know what? I'll sell all the amber. That's pretty easy to find more of. Uh. Okay. Oh. Come back soon. Robbie's still there. Well, there's there's the balloon. <laughs> Looks like he made it here safely. that 
Welcome. Ah, what an excellent night. Hey, you. The Puerapad Laboratory is ready for us to do some great things together. First, let's get that sensor up and running. Come on, let me see that Puerapad. This will only take a moment. One, and a two, and a three, and a four. The sensor reacts when you're close to shrines of light you've not yet visited. If you head in the direction where the reaction is strongest, you should find the shrine. Dunzo! Now this sensor will make a sound if there are shrines near you. Okay, that wraps up my chatting about it. Try testing out the sensor. Hmm? That's odd. The sensor reacts when you're moving towards a shrine. There's a shrine in the cave at the bottom of the hill, but the sensor isn't reacting to it whatsoever because I've already been there. What? You already found it? I'd expect nothing less from you. That sensor will still be invaluable. It's the product of my brilliance, after all. I'd expect nothing less from me. Well, I've told you what you need to know about that sensor, but I fear it's gone in one ear or out the other. So hang on a minute. Okay, the details are correct, and I'll post it right here. Yes, very good. Here you go, the operation instructions for the sensor. Now you can review the sensor feature anytime you want. Just read that poster there. <laughs> now you begin to see the true potential of the Pura Pad. But I'm nowhere near done yet. I created new features for that device while I was waiting here for you. Yes, I whipped up some prototypes of these extra features and can get them on your Pura Pad at any time. That is, with some help from you, getting the, some final data I need in order to activate them perfectly. Let's talk if you want those upgrades. Enjoy that sensor. A taste of great things to come. Until then... All right, well, sure. Tell me more. Hey, you, we have more work to do. Your Pura Pad is nowhere near its full capability yet. The Pura Pad will be even better after I add some extra features. Those include the most essential one, the travel medallion feature that lets you set up gates for instant travel anywhere. There's also Hero's Path mode. It shows where you've traveled. Finally, Sensor Plus, which helps you find more than shrines. Your Pura Pad will be perfect once I've installed all of those, but first I'll need you to gather some test data so I can fine-tune my prototypes. So, let's get to work on that pad. Just talk to me anytime you'd like to get started on any of these. Uh, Travel Medallion. The Travel Medallion feature is quite exceptional. It lets you travel instantly to a gate you've established elsewhere. But we're going to have a little bit of an extra challenge with all this. Come now, give me your Pura Pad for a moment. Look here, in distant Akala, up in its northeastern corner, is the Akala Ancient Tech Lab, which is also my home. That's where my prototype travel of the travel medallion feature is. I started work on it back there. That's kind of not good, actually. I go get it myself, but word is that some dangerous trespassers have made themselves at home there. That's why I'd like to have you, with all your great talents, go there and fetch my travel medallion prototype. To speed this journey along, well, the return journey anyway. Hmm, where was that again? Aha, here it is. Here it is. Okay. Got the travel spot here at the ancient tech lab. I've activated a travel gate outside this lab. Now you can get here instantly, if not faster. You'll need to make your own way to the Akala ancient tech lab, however. You'll find the travel medallion prototype in a chest beside my desk there. Should be easy enough to find. Presenting the Travel Medallion. Want to hear anything else about my inventions before you rush off? Your Pura Pad will grow to its full potential with these extra features. Sensor Plus. Excellent. Very good thinking being curious about this feature. It allows you to pinpoint the location of more than shrines. Many more things. That's why it's called Sensor Plus. You select what you want from the compendium, but I can't add my prototype without some extra data. So you need to fill out your compendium with at least five types of monsters. I'm pretty sure I have. Unbelievable! You've got all that data? Then I can install that sensor upgrade right away. Let's have the Pura Pad for a moment. Now give me just a moment. Sensor Plus. You can select something other than Shrines of Light as a sensor target. The sensor has a stronger reaction as you get closer to the target. Ta-da-da-da-da! Now you can search for more than just Shrines. Just so select what you want to find from the Hyrule Compendium. Okay, that was easy. Actually, I have a compendium of my own. 
That's my compendium database. It's got everything you could possibly want to find details about. Oh yes, it's all there. Creatures, monsters, materials, equipment, and even different kinds of treasure. In short, a perfect collection of what you might one day achieve in your own Hyrule compendium on the Purapad. Curious? I invite you to access that database and see for yourself. Oh yes, I should prepare operation instructions for this feature too. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Okay, the details are correct and I'll post it right here. Yes, very good. Here you go. Operation instructions for the Sensor Plus feature. Now you can review Sensor Plus details anytime you want. Just read that poster there. Also, though you can use the Sensor Plus feature now, your Pura Pad is not yet perfect. It still doesn't have all the available features, so don't forget that. Alright, Hero's Path. I don't really care about that. Well, I really want to get up to that Skyview Tower, but it's pretty cold up there. I do have some cold protection. I actually have quite a bit of cold protection, come to think of it. Yeah, I have these trousers here, and I could uh, put on my makeshift torch. So I guess I could probably get up there. Hmm. Well, that's for next episode, because I think we are at the end of this one. And is it going to hit Nadra? No. Anyway, as I was saying... So viewers, thank you very much for watching Let's Play Tears of the Kingdom. In the next episode, well, I'll either go up there to that Skyview Tower, or I'll head back to the Akala Ancient Tech Lab and take care of the Yiga who've moved in up there. Because I do want those travel gates. Or whatever Robbie called them, I've already forgotten. Anyway, I want them. That will be very useful to have. So, eh, either go there, or go here. We'll figure it out in the next episode. See you then!